back here, two local chefs teaming up today to bring us some very unique, uh, well, it's unique to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Chef Brandon, Chef Chanel, uh, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having us. Uh, big event coming up, Greenfield Village starting tomorrow, but what is this, what is all this stuff here? So these are beautiful, hyper-nutrient-dense uh, microgreens from Citizens Provision. Mm -hmm. So this is the urban farm that we're See, working with. When I first thought microgreens, yes, this is I very good for you. thought <sighs> microgreens, I thought it was oh, something no. a little, uh, like a little dispensary stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. Very good for you. Remember how the green juices I try to get you to drink? Yes. It's, yes. Yes. So all the stuff is edible. Is that all right? All the stuff yes. is like edible. Yep. Really? It's provided by Citizens Provision that are like, provide all these like cool, local, hyper, and like diverse. Okay. microgreens and we're gonna like add those into this like fun trail mix we got for you guys. Come on Brandon, let's do it, let's do it, I'm ready. So it's turning into fall so we're super excited about that. So with um, me and Chanel's company which is breaking cornbread, we always like to stay tried and oh. true with like throwing like a little bit of the African American culture here. Yes. So we're doing a trail mix but it's gonna be called like Auntie Velvet's Fried Chicken. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Auntie fried you can't chicken just blaze over that. <laughs> what, what is this called? Auntie Velvet fried, fried Chicken. chicken. So like my sister makes like really good fried chicken and I was like, okay. you know, I really love trail mix and it's turning into fall. Let's like I love that you, up. We toss it in with a little brown butter to like make that taste good. So we have some really good. deal popcorn, some white cheddar, What's a little this? bit of. What is this stuff right here? Good for you. Eat it. Right there. That's that fried chicken skin. skin. <laughs> That's the the fried, fried chicken skin. skin. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a little bit of mixed nuts in there. These oh. right here are salt and oh. pepper cashews, yes. some dried cranberries for like sweetness, and then throwing just a little bit of that chicken skin in there. Now, Brent, you know, before you get to, and yes. while you're doing that, yes. Brent, tell me a little bit about your company. So basically, for the folks at home, if you're just joining us, this is really cool. It's a collaboration of chefs and urban farming. Mm -hmm. yes. First of all, tell us how you guys got involved with this. We know, again, it's at tomorrow's the yes. event. So but tell us about the company. So it's the Carver and Carson Society. They have partnered with companies like Soil to Service, which is a local organization that features local farmers and chefs around this movable <laughs> feast for tomorrow. So they asked us, Soita Service asked us um, to partner with this beautiful microgreen company, Citizens Provision, to hold this movable <laughs> feast. So this is actually their corn, mm -hmm. their popcorn that's oh, actually wow. in there. This is the popcorn. So within right the here. mix, what you have all in your mix now, you have some white cheddar popcorn with dill popcorn, but we also threw some Nashville hot pretzels in there to like offset try that. that. Yeah. And then try those, and I'm also gonna have you guys like try them this is by themselves, which is it's insane. Popcorn. Try it. Isn't so it what, so, what, it's what am I eating? What is this stuff here? It's popcorn. It's popcorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm giving you a minute. Yes. <laughs> try it. Oh, there you go. It's okay. good. So okay. you grow it. Where, where do you grow this stuff? So, so we don't grow it. Citizen so Provision Citizen does. Citizen Provision grows it. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. well, Citizen you Provision. You have to try it. It's sweet. Yeah. Let's try it. So you see, it kind of like balances that like Nashville hot pretzels that's in there, and then mm -hmm. also kind of like complements that like chicken skin that's in there. Because corn is naturally sweet. What so made you add chicken skin? So Why not? <laughs> that's I like really, really love <laughs> fried chicken and then breaking cornbread. Wherever we go, we always want to sprinkle a little bit of like I'm us as like African-Americans in there. And mm -hmm. it's like, we really love fried chicken. <laughs> and what, we sure do. Uh, so where, like, is this your, is it catering? Tell us a little bit about so, uh, corn. What is it called? Breaking, breaking cornbread. Corn breaking cornbread. I love that. Yeah, tell us about it. this. So breaking cornbread is a cultural pop-up dining experience that focuses on the celebration of black culture. Yes. So everything from our music to our vibes, everywhere we Damn. pop up, we literally bring the full black experience. And so you're bringing the food, you're bringing the experience. Like, what are some mm -hmm. of the dishes that you guys cook? Are you here? <laughs> oh, I love it. I want to make so crunch, All I can hear is crunch, crunch in my ear. I can just imagine myself watching the Lions game tomorrow yeah. and eating this up yes. and then go Lions. And then think about how you feel like guilt free with the chicken skin. Like, yeah. I, I have, I have no guilt whatsoever. Not and then you have your no nutrient dense microgreen added in there. Let me get another nutrient dense microgreen. So you can't feel guilty about it. But for the movable feast, it's focused on the school lunch theme. So this is why we're presenting this elevated, beautiful trail mix. But for the actual event, we're going to be working with Citizens for Vision to actually do a crispy short rib with uh, mashed potatoes and a wild mushroom gravy. Then we have a peanut butter and jelly bread pudding. Actually, Ooh, going with that. You guys are so creative. <laughs> what is this stuff? This yeah, red, 
Okay, so this is beets. Um, beets. This is broccoli. Oh, this is broccoli. Wow. This is broccoli. And then those are uh, sugar snack peas. And then we have cabbage over there. This and is how it radish. radish. I guess this is how it and starts. this is how it starts. Mm -hmm. This is how it starts. So this, this is how it starts. a microgreen is basically um, a seed that's been planted and it, and it's in Actually, 14 days, 14 days germinated. 14 days germinated. Wow. And then we also like throwing it in there, they kind of like gave it a little butter. And it's also like 40% nutrient dense. So it's like a, it's mm -hmm. full is of dark a, counterpart. Is there a real beet under there somewhere? Or, it's or? The so that's seed. before. It's the seed. Going to grow <laughs> into a beet. So this I is what it looks you like, knew that. like before. At the, at the <laughs> beginning stage. And then these here, yeah. they're corn like corn straws. But think about them being like the corn stock before they get extra. That's big. what it, it did. The sweetness. Mm -hmm. So quickly, I know we have to wrap, but I mean the popularity of urban farming, just urban farming in general. I mean the importance of it. What is what's your take on that? We try to we try to work with as many local farmers as possible whenever we're creating our means because yeah. it's just a 360 model for us. We're get, getting from the community, but we're actually giving back to and the that community. And the table aspect. Yeah, the to firm like the take table it from aspect. the ground directly to your are there, place. Do we have a lot of them here in Detroit? Are they popping up more? Is it more popular? We they're actually do. like more popular here. Yes. It's like a lot of them. It's like stations you wouldn't even do know you they're sell here. This, this right here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get more of this. We actually don't no. sell you them. Sell it. Everybody, the recipe we just had it, but this is fantastic. Uh, this thank, you. So this is, thank you. You should sell it. Lori's right here. You can make a fortune. <laughs> <We're gonna clean laughs> I'm telling you. All right, thank we you. have to take a break. We'll get into the business later on. Yeah. <laughs> As we get into the break, just remind people quickly where it is in the time tomorrow. Oh. So it's tomorrow at the Henry Ford uh, Greenfield Village, yeah. and it will be oh, around like six o'clock, I six believe. Yep. Yeah. All right. All the details. Fox2Detroit.com. We will be.